and good afternoon from our film room. So I know that it hasn't necessarily been a while since the last time that I did a vlog from home, but I like to do these videos to sort of connect the dots when it comes to my personal life and then just general home updates because whenever I inevitably rewatch these videos, those are always really interesting to me and I really just wanted an excuse to play around with my, my, my camera here, this Canon 80D that I've had for a while but haven't really had a chance to really try to figure out. So that is sort of what I'm doing today. So Brennan should be getting home from work pretty soon. We do have stagnant days off, so whenever we're able to actually do fun activities on days that we work, it's always very special and sort of contingent on how the other one feels. Today I've just been, on my day off, I've been organizing our house and just cleaning and just doing what I can around here. And I wanted to come into the bathroom in here. I don't really showcase our bedroom that much, but I wanted to show this right here. This is a message that Brennan wrote for me several weeks ago now and I've left it up here and what I did, just because it was a really cute little message, I made it into a shirt. So this is the shirt that I am currently wearing right now, just sort of like a, just like a comfortable pajama shirt almost and it's, it's inverted obviously, but it's just like a fun little message and, and I already showed it to her a while ago because I've had it for a little bit and she liked it a lot and it's like my little like Brennan shirt so I like it a lot, but now I think I'm Heading, I don't know, I'll go back to the film room, I think. That sounds like the garage door right now, so Burden just got home. I was thinking about going outside today and potentially setting up the pool because it has been incredibly hot recently and I think that getting into the little pool that we have would be sort of nice. Brennan's home, hi Brennan. Hi. All right, so I'm back in the film room. Brennan is taking a quick nap because she worked a very early shift today. We might do something fun later on this afternoon or this evening, but I wanted to show these figures right here. These are figures that my mom actually got for myself and my brothers several years ago, back when we were really into Yu-Gi-Oh! There's supposed to be one more, but I think that these are the ones that she could find. They've been in my trunk for a while, and I finally found the space to reorganize and, and put them on the shelf here with all of those plushes as well. And there are a lot of knickknacks here, but I am very proud of what this, this shelf has turned out to be versus where it started over a year ago. I also wanted to talk about this over here. So these are USB microphones that I've really been wanting to use during live streams or potential podcasts, but because they're USB microphones, I didn't think that they would be able to be used together, but I did do a little research and find out that I could kind of create an aggregate device for them and, and sort of combine them. So it's not going to be the best quality without a doubt compared to just buying a more expensive condenser microphone, but just being able to to, to do that and to use that, and I've already tested it out, and it works really well so far. In addition to my uh, my laptop here, which I took to the Apple Store last week to get like the battery replaced and everything, which is what just arrived in that box right there. Uh, I also ordered a new keyboard for my Mac, which this I've been using for about 10 years now, but I had some corroded batteries that destroyed this keyboard, so I had to get a new keyboard. So, if you're watching this video, you may know that there was sort of a stint in videos for a little while. It's because I didn't have a laptop and then I also didn't have a desktop computer as well. But now I have both back, which is nice. Over here I have my Magic Band Plus charging, which I might be using that somewhat soon. So Brennan can sort of explore that and use that and just see if that's fun or not. I do have this box over here, which is a PO box um, package that I wanted to showcase. But speaking of that, I think I want to go hop in the car and head over to the post office if it's still open right there in that bin is the inflatable pool that would be really fun to get out and use. So I might do that once I get back home from the post office, which I just wanted to casually run over to really quickly. And I talked about those Yu-Gi-Oh figurines on my shelf because I've been going through my car and just trying to organize everything in it and take pretty much everything out of it. Because at some point, hopefully somewhat soon, I will finally be getting a new car. This is a car that I've had for over 10 years since my grandfather gave it to me my sophomore year of college and I think it's finally time to get a new car. So that process will hopefully be starting somewhat soon. All right, so I made it to the post office and my P.O. box is all the way in the very back right here. I did used to have a larger P.O. box, which was actually this one right here, but it was a little bit unnecessarily large, so I decided to go ahead and comfortably downgrade. And where am I? Which one am I? I think I'm this one right. Here, I have my, my Bucky. I 
I usually put these in here if you have a little uh, package to pick up. Neat. All right, so I made it back home, and this is the package that was in the mail. It says fragile, literally all over it. What do you think, Arlo? He's a little bit confused. What do you think, buddy? It's a pretty large package. I'm whispering because I'm just awkwardly standing in the doorway right now while Brennan is probably still taking a quick snooze. So what I think I might do, maybe Arlo can help me out with this, is I might go into the garage and get that pool out because it has been so hot recently. All right, so Arlo and I are in the backyard and I brought out the bin. So I have a cornhole game that I got here recently. There's some snorkel equipment right here which I can go in take an ounce and then some tubes here so this would be the, the cheeseburger or the hamburger tube and then the watermelon tube and then I of course did have a gummy worm tube but I had to leave that in the Bahamas and this right here is going to be our outdoor pool. So obviously I'm waiting a minute until Brenna wakes up from her nap so I'm just sort of hanging out with the cats right now. We might be going to Disney Springs later on this evening. All right, so Brennan is awake from her nap and the pool has been inflated and now I am starting to fill it with water. This will probably take about 10 minutes, potentially. So what I'm going to do is go back inside and show off the P.O. Box mail that I've gotten recently. All of the, the packages that I haven't really had a chance to show off yet. All right, so I'm back in the film room and this is what was in the box that I picked up today. So I'm so glad that I went to the post office. I've had a few pieces of mail here that I wanted to showcase for a little bit, but I did not know that this was here, and I'm so glad that I picked that up today. So I'll show off a few items what I have here. So this is a letter from Doug, and it's actually a, a couple pages long. It's a handwritten letter, and he actually asked for me to write back, so I'm sending him a little Mickey Mouse postcard right there. I just thought that was really adorable, just talking about our 4th of July that we had, and then his 4th of July right over here. So this is from Jabber, and Jabber has always been very generous in consistently sending just general postcards and then really fun items in the mail here. So this is a postcard that he sent a little while ago and he just thought of us uh, when he saw this postcard. It just reminded him of myself and Brennan, which I think that's, that's pretty adorable right there. So I really appreciate that. And then also he went to uh, Kuwait. So hopefully this is in focus. This camera's really heavy, so I'm trying to struggle with not, uh, with, without it just shaking around too much. So. He just got back from Kuwait, and of course, he thought of us when he was there. Uh, in the box, you will find a magnet of the famous Kuwait Towers, wooden boxes with a picture of the boom on them. The boom is an old Kuwait boat used to fish and look for pearls. You will also see handmade, a handmade basket used for coins, candy, or keys by the door. The stick is an old traditional fan to use when it's hot or when cooking uh, to make the charcoal live longer. And he also included a wooden camel, but look closely, another camel is inside the camel. I hope you like it. And so this is all from Jabber. This basket right here, and then this fan, this keychain. There's the camel, and then this box right here, which this feels very, very brittle, so I'll leave that alone for now. But that was just so incredible that he thought of us when he went there. We have to find a reasonable spot to, to put this because I don't think this will make much sense on the, on the wall of Pokemon and Disney behind me. And so this is what I just got, I picked up today. So. This says, Magical Delivery. Hi, Oivy. My name is Pam, and my family has been viewers of you for years. I have viewers of yours for years, and we really love watching your channel. One of my friends, Danielle, and I made an Etsy shop during the pandemic out of boredom, and we ended up really enjoying it. One of our products took off, and we thought uh, you would really love it, and it would fit perfectly in your home. It wouldn't have been complete without your logo. I have taught yoga and meditation for many years, and Danielle thought another great venture for us would be a meditation podcast and YouTube channel. We have been enjoying it so far, and there are a few Disney videos we really think you would enjoy. Our Etsy shop is called Sergeant Cannoli's Treasures, and the podcast slash YouTube channel is called Travel with Meditation. Along with instructions for the topiary that we always give, we also gave the information for the meditation channel. We hope you enjoy the topiary, and if you have any questions, let us know. Have a magical day from Pam and Danielle. So, of course, they did send the instructions for the topiary, just keeping it in good condition, and then this is the meditation podcast that they were mentioning and then this is the topiary so this is a mickey mouse topiary with my logo right there on the bottom how incredibly cool is that 
And then that's not all. Apparently on the back, let's see, I've already played around with this. Let me make sure that I do it right. It lights up. So there are three settings here. There's like a consistent lit up setting. There's a fast blinking setting. And then there's a slow blinking setting. How generous is this? How people think that I deserve fun packages that are very thoughtful and creative in the mail like this and meaningful, just ranging from postcards and letters to handcrafted, very unique items and then just very cultural and, and, and incredible items from around the world. This is so generous. Thank you, everybody. This is honestly so, so cool, but I think the pool is probably filled up by now. So yeah, I just wanted to showcase this because this is just so, I, I just, I don't get tired of, of this or, or just uncomfortable trying to find the words to explain my gratitude for these people. All right, so Brennan is holding the camera. The pool has finished getting filled up. Hello, Brennan. Hi. So we're gonna be going on a little adventure later on tonight, but before we do that, this is the beer that I've been brewing for the past month, and it is done. It's carbonated for about two weeks, and then I put it into the fridge, and so it should be ready to drink right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. I'm nervous, and I'm excited, and I have this, this big mug. Here, so I'm gonna go ahead and pour it in there right like that. That looks like the color of a beer, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay, bottoms up. That tastes like a beer. What kind of beer? Just like an ale. Nice. Look at that. I brew beer. And then also, I've thought out my pomegranate juice and against. Pomegranate, that'd be pretty good too. <laughs> and against the suggestions of pretty much everybody, what I'm going to do is a little bit blasphemous, but that's why I'm adding it to just a little bit of the beer. I'm making a little grapefruit beer concoction here. So let's see what that tastes like. Um, were the people right? Yeah, they were right. <laughs> but it was still worth the effort. Yay. Okay, I'm gonna go jump in the pool. Do you wanna watch? Sure. Okay, so I have my swimsuit on right now. And Arlo and I are gonna get in the pool. Right, Arlo? Right, pup? Nope, he doesn't like water. <laughs> so I decided to go ahead and keep my shirt on because I just, I wanted you to, to feel this message. Not at all because I'm insecure about my body. Oh my God, it's kinda cold. You ready? Ready. Okay. Okay, Arlo. Oh man. Arlo. Well, oh, this is nice. Is it awkward? I mean, with your shirt on a little bit. Okay. I love you. Though. You blend in with the pool. <laughs> Good. Hello. <laughs> Water. It's a big bath, Arlo. Arlo. Nope. He probably needs a haircut. It's oh yeah. Too. This is something that we've been wanting to do for sort of a while. It's been hard to like do it because it involves taking out the massive pool from the garage and setting it up. And the ground is a little bit on the lumpy side. We do have a lumpy ground. <laughs> I think we're going to Dizzy Springs? I think so. Just to get some dinner casually. Probably. I guess how would you not get dinner casually? <laughs> suspiciously? Let's get, alternative. let's get dinner suspiciously. <laughs> let's do it. Okay. Um, I'm gonna hang out here for a minute. I okay. Think. Okay. <laughs> this was less awkward in my head. <laughs> Why? Doing this alone. So Brenda gave me the camera, which is probably not the best idea, but I'm just relaxing with Arlo right now in the pool over by the bushes. And like we said, we are going to be going to dinner. She also gave me my, my beer here, which I'm only drinking a little bit of because we're going to be leaving here pretty soon, which I should probably go and get up so I can uh, head inside and get ready. Right, Arlo? 
Were you overwhelmed by this experience today? Are you jealous that you couldn't get in the pool? Because I know that you're not. And there he goes into the bushes to try to find more sticks. All right, so I'm back inside and I started to let the water out of the pool, but before myself and Brennan go to Disney Springs, there's one other person that I wanted to say hello to. And who is that? Hi, how are you? It's Dennis, hi Dennis. What's up? So a while ago I sent Dennis a pretty cool gift for his birthday, I think, I'm being biased, but Dennis, did you end up getting that gift? I did. I know, you already told me that. It's and look at it. Oh wait, there's more. Ooh. Woo, that looks good. So Dennis has a cooking channel called Dinner by Dennis, so I sent him a sign that he could hang in his apartment, hopefully. Thinking I guess. about doing kind of like a, a tasting area back here above the couch. I'll put the sign up there. Okay. With some cool wall art. Then have a nice little like wooden table in front of it. Maybe a plant. That sounds pretty good. Well, I'm glad that it turned out pretty cool. Thanks again. You're welcome. Can I see your shirt? I will. There it is. Oh yeah. Bye, Dennis. Bye-bye. And hello from Disney Springs. Hi, Brennan. Hi. So we are going to have dinner right now. I don't know where, but maybe somewhere quick and convenient, but also delicious and worth the money. Let's go. We parked on the roof of the Orange Garage. There's Epcot way over there in Cirque du Soleil. Are you feeling pizza or a burger hmm. or chicken? Maybe pizza? Okay. I'm not sure yet. We never go to Blaze Pizza, that's for sure. I've never been there. All right, we are heading down the stairs right now to go through security and then probably over to Blaze Pizza. Even though I was really sort of feeling uh, the Lux Burger. All right, so we made it to Disney Springs and we did talk about it. And what we have decided to do is to go to the Lux Burger just because that would be a, a different option that we haven't been to yeah, we haven't in a while. Been in a while. Also straight ahead, that is the new seating area for Chicken Guy. The expanded indoor seating area, which is cool. Whenever we come to Disney Springs, we always just seem to either do Blaze Pizza or Deluxe Burger or Chicken Guy. And we need some more quick service options. We did go to Earl recently. We're trying to switch it up, but we do have our favorites. Okay, so we've made it over to Deluxe Burger. We did check out the menu on the app, but we're just going to go inside and order this time. So they do have orange and lime burgers here, which represent the Disney Springs garages, which I think that's pretty interesting. Okay, so we just put in our order and we have this tracker here, which we're going to be taking to our table, presumably probably outside. And here we are outside by the water as the sun sets, and here are our burgers. I got the barbecue burger, which comes with an onion ring, I'm pretty sure, and Munster cheese. And then we're gonna got the just the regular uh, bacon cheeseburger there, and then we have a plethora of sauces over here for our fries, which are going to be pretty good. All right, so we are all done with dinner, which was pretty delicious. The aperture on this camera is not the best, but it's a little bit better than I anticipated it being. So we are now in the mood for some dessert surprise. So we're passing by Blaze Pizza, which we will have to come back to next time because we ended up going to where I wanted to go to dinner I think tonight. we're gonna try the Morimoto Express one next time. Yeah, we just gotta really familiarize ourselves with quick service options, but I think we're heading over to Gideon's. So we're going to check out the situation with Gideon's just to see what that wait time looks like, if it's not too unreasonable. Okay, so this is the line for Gideon's. It's about a 30 minute wait right now, so we don't know if we're gonna be waiting for this. Okay, so we ended up getting out of line. We might head over to Swirls by the Water to maybe get some Dole Whips. Okay, so Swirls by the Water is right over here by the Rainforest Cafe. And the Lava Lounge, which actually came to a few nights ago with some friends. We got some drinks. Volcano is erupting right now. The line was a little bit too long as it swirls by the water, so we're just going to keep walking around for a little bit. It's funny how this never gets tiring to see. Every time you see watch this volcano erupts, it never gets boring. All right, so I stopped inside the Days of Christmas store really quickly because Brennan wanted to get some presents for her mom who just had surgery. Yeah. So what'd you get there, Brennan? Uh, I got her a cute little ornament to celebrate the 50th anniversary because she loves Christmas ornaments. There are all of the icons in there, which is cool. And then I got her a cool puzzle to work on because her and her friend have been working on puzzles lately and because she had knee surgery, I figured she's not going anywhere anytime soon. So keep her entertained. And I got this, which I know that I already got. I got for ourselves and I got for my parents, but I got home and Minnie was broken. 
<laughs> and I didn't notice that when I bought it. So I'm getting another one. Her so hopefully arm was broken, this though. one. Not her spirit. Nope, not at all. Hopefully this one just stays intact. Alright, we have our massive bag of Christmas ornaments from the Days of Christmas store over there. And there were a few ornaments in there that were broken of the uh, the 50th ornament. So hopefully this one doesn't break. Oh, All right, we're making one final stop inside Once Upon a Toy to see if they have any Squishmallows. It does not look like there are any Squishmallows in there, but I was happy to find one to give her mom just to cuddle with because they are very adorable and very squishy. Okay, we're passing by Ghirardelli and we just passed by Marketplace Snacks, which they have like the bubble waffle cones back there. There's World of Disney. I'm running back to the car. Okay, final stop inside World of Disney. This is the honey squish mellows in here. I didn't know Brenda was so interested in these. So we came to the very back where the huggable, play, seats, fluffy, and cuddly sections are, but there are no squish mellows here. I think that they're only sold at Target. Yeah, I didn't know if they were gonna have maybe like their own Disney brand version of them somewhere. I just wanted to check. Okay, now we are heading out of World of Disney. It's busy tonight. Never mind, we're heading into Amaretts to see what they have in here. I'm not uh, a massive cake person. I'm just a regular person, but I, I'm not, I don't really like cake. I like pie. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> All right, so we just left Amaretts, and Brennan, what did you get? I got the red velvet petite cake. And then I got five assorted Macarons, macaroons. All right, so we're heading to the orange garage and we're probably going to eat our snacks at home because that sounds nice and it's getting very busy here tonight. This was definitely a quicker trip to Disney Springs just to have dinner and attempt successfully to finally get some desserts. We'll have to come back and make another trip at some point, hopefully soon, maybe once it calms down a little bit more after the summer crowds recede a little bit. All right, we finally made it back to the orange garage. Now to head all the way back up to the roof to head back home. All right, we've made it back to the car, so we are heading home. That was our trip to Disney Springs where we got some souvenirs and some desserts as well, which Brennan is holding both of them like a very nice person. <laughs> this was a little bit of a weird video, I know, just sort of doing stuff around the house and sort of just catching up on, on just what I've been mentally wanting to update to upload to YouTube while you were at work. <laughs> and then I got into the pool for some reason, and then we went to Disney Springs and had a little date night together. <laughs> yeah. And it's getting pretty late, so we're gonna go ahead and head on home. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Have a great day, and goodbye. Goodbye!